Hi everybody, my name is Coach Haley from Codespeak Labs, and today I'm going to show you how to sign into Scratch. Alright folks, so I have the Scratch website open. We're going to sign into our accounts. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the upper right hand corner of your screen and look for the words sign in. So right where my mouse is swirling around, we're going to click sign in. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to enter your username. So for me, my username is CSLArtists10. And it's very important that you don't forget to capitalize the letters you need to capitalize. So for my username, I have to make sure that I have a capital C, S, L, and A. And that there are no spaces within my username. So make sure that you also don't include spaces. And after you enter your username, you're going to enter your password. And then we'll click sign in. And it should take you directly to your Scratch account. So to open up a brand new project, we can go to the upper left hand corner right next to the word Scratch and we're going to click Create. And perfect, we have a brand new Scratch project open. Alright, so what happens if I accidentally click the wrong button when I sign in? So what happens if I accidentally clicked Join Scratch? and all of a sudden you're here at this page that says join Scratch, create a username. Don't worry, we can get back to the main home page by clicking the word Scratch in the upper left hand corner. So if you're on this page, look for the title Scratch. All the way at the top of your screen, give it a click and it should take you right back to the main home page. All right, so what happens if I enter the wrong password? Sign in. It says incorrect username or password. So if you're not sure whether or not you typed in the wrong username or password, it's probably best to just retype both the username and password all together. So for me, I'm not really sure if I typed in my username wrong or my password. So I'm just going to start all over. CSL Artists 10. Oh, still wrong. All right, so let's look at my username. Are all the letters capitalized that need to be capitalized? Yes, C, S, L, A are capitalized. Are there any spaces? No. All right, looks like my username is good, so it must be the password that is wrong. All right, and we're signed in. So a common mistake that a lot of us make sometimes is that when we're doing our new Scratch project, sometimes we're not actually signed into our account. So when we go to save this project, it's not actually saved. One thing that you can check for anytime you're doing a Scratch project is to make sure you're signed in. So if you're here and you're in a Scratch project, go to the top right corner and you should see your username. If you don't see your username and you see the word sign in, that means that you're not signed into your account. So go ahead and sign in from there. So click sign in. And now, if you see your username at the top right corner inside your Scratch project, you're all good to go. That means you're signed in and you can save your project to your account. All right, so I finished my Scratch project. How do I actually share it and save it to my account? What you can do is you can click the orange share button and it should take you directly to your Scratch project that you saved. 
But say, for example, I made a mistake and I want to go back and fix something, no worries. We can click the See Inside button. And then once you've fixed your mistake and want to share your project and give it a title and some instructions, we can go to the project page. So after you've shared your project, the orange button should have turned blue and it should say Shared. So right next to it, we can click See Project Page and this is where we can enter our title of our project and some instructions for our user. If you want to share your project with others, what you can do is you can go to the bottom right hand corner and look for a button called Copy Link. We can copy link, we can highlight, and now we can give this link to anybody if they want to see your Scratch project. Alright, so say you've logged into your account and you want to see all of the projects that you've made over the past couple of months. What we can do is we can go down and click the arrow next to our username in the upper right corner and we can click My Stuff. So inside of My Stuff you should be able to see all of the projects that you have ever made inside of your Scratch account. But say for example that I only want to see my shared projects. We can go to the left hand side and click Shared Projects. And then you'll be able to see all of the projects that you have shared publicly to your account. Alright, so I finished my Scratch project. How do I log out of Scratch? We're going to go to the upper right hand corner, find your username, click the drop down arrow, and simply click sign out. And after you do that, you should be able to see the button that says sign in, and you should no longer see your username. That means you're all good to go and that you've signed out.